Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be the video chart review of the bull market newsletter bull charts that were sent out uh, last week for the week of November 16th. I uh, want to go over all the charts. Uh, we had a very good week, uh, possibly one of our best ones yet, uh, especially if you factor in the Twitters that we had and so forth. Uh, what you're looking at here is an email that is sent out, and uh, I'll explain more. But first, let's just start off with uh, the calls that were made on Twitter. So let me pull up a chart first. The first one we made, or actually let me take a step back. If you're interested in getting these sorts of emails, uh, the bull charts and so forth, all you have to do is go to bullmarketnewsletter.net. You sign up there and you get a free ebook along with all sorts of other things. Um, so that's once again how you get onto uh, the newsletter to be able to get these bull charts and all that other good stuff. Uh, so the first one that we called on Twitter actually was uh, VGPR. And this was last Friday when we called it. Uh, we saw this surge of volume come in and we alerted it at 0 .0225 and once again you know it's one of those things that's a easily verifiable check all you have to go do is go to our Twitter page and scroll back and you'll see the Twitter where we put this out and you'll see what time it happened at uh, but we put it out at uh, 0 .0, .0225 you know uh, because we saw the breakout here nice volume and then you can see what happened over the next two days made a huge move and this was actually a 73 percent uh, possible gainer had you gotten in at our Twitter down here uh, so um, this was not a bull chart it was a Twitter but you know it's one of those things where it shows you really need to sign up for uh, the Twitter if you're not yet already the other Twitter we had this week was even bigger than this one uh, we had HES HESG and we alerted it uh, down here when it was uh, the bid ask was triple zero six by triple zero seven you know there's big volume coming in and this is when we sent it out to our Twitter and then you can see what happened over the course of the next few days went up and hit 0 .00224 from a possible triple zero seven entry uh, so this was actually a 254 percent move in a couple of days once again it was based on our Twitter that we put out down here uh, so the people that were following Twitter I know made some good money on it uh, you know I, I got some correspondences with them so it was good to hear that people uh, were able to capitalize on you know this huge gigantic move here. So 200, uh, or excuse me, 243 percent in only a few days. So now let's go back to the bull charts. And real quick, uh, what they are is uh, five different uh, chart setups. This week we had a focus chart uh, which was IROG, and once in a while we'll have those. Uh, we like to put it at the top of our watch list. And uh, here was a chart that we had. It was our pattern play uh, for the week and the pattern was a bull flag as you can see it had nice volume here and then had just been going sideways and consolidating so let's uh, pull up the chart and see what happened keep in mind once again this was our focus chart for the week this blue line is just represents what the chart looked like when we sent it out to our list so uh, here was the possible entry you could have gotten in here if you want or you could have waited for the breakout um, but you can see what happened here volume increasing broke above this resistance line and then here it went up even more on real nice volume hit 85 cents so assuming you had gotten in right around 68 or 69 cents which was you know more than possible right down on these first couple of days uh, that was a 23 percent move so this was a nice winner for us today a nice volume uh, so IROG uh, was the focus chart once again and it did produce a nice 23 percent possible gain for us uh, in only a few days the second chart on our list was our bottom bouncer play and what we had uh, was either you know you could have waited down here or you could have just looked to um, you know buy in on some sort of move upwards since it was looking like the uh, chart had been going sideways and you know kind of bottoming out so let's pull up uh, this chart and see what happened SBIB uh, you can see once again this is what it looked like last Friday when we sent it out had a nice first couple of days putting in some highs there so we did get a nice little bounce and has been kind of consolidating there for now but I'm counting this as a winner because if you watch my other videos you know that in order for me to count something as a winner I like to see at least five percent this one gave us six percent uh, within range here you know fluctuating back and forth so actual a couple multiple opportunities to make some profit in here uh, but this was a winner it didn't bounce huge but you know it did bounce six percent and you know six percent in a few days not too bad The next chart that we had was ROIAK. This was a trend trading play, meaning we just wanted to go with the trend. 
Uh, we had a couple of options here. You could wait if you wanted to to pull back here, or you could have just popped in here. The bottom line is uh, the trend is up, so we're going with the flow. We're not going against the trend. We're going uh, with it, and it had some a pullback, so we were looking for some short sort of uh, bounce upwards. So let's see what happened here. So here's what the chart looked like. You could have gotten in at the close or actually this day dropped down even lower so you could have possibly gotten in lower but we're just going to assume that you got in right here at uh, two dollars and thirteen cents and then here was a nice day here uh, went up and hit a high of 245 and this was actually a nice 15 percent move so you could have gotten in here and the next day uh, had over a 15 percent opportunity to, to pull in some profit so you know, 15% for a one-day hold, not too shabby, and that's what uh, this one produced. It has since kind of pulled back a little bit, uh, but still holding its gain somewhat. Um, but nonetheless, like I said, this right here represented a nice 15% uh, move. So as you can see, we haven't had any losers yet. We've been uh, doing well, and that's why I say this could have been our best week. The next one was SWI. Uh, this was our volume alert play. You could see that we had big volume here and thinking that it could continue up through that resistance line and then I kinda set us up for this one hadn't had any failures or losers until this one this just had no follow through look at how big that volume was compared to all this and then just nothing happened it just pulled back on us so this was a flat out loser for us um, you know possibly you could have maybe traded out of it but I mean for argument's sake this this was a loser uh, no ands ifs buts about it uh, but SWI just didn't work out this week and was our loser. Our final one for the week was another quick one, but it gave us people a nice opportunity. OWW, uh, this was our pending breakout play. We were looking at, as noted here, six dollars and ten cents as the key breakout point. Uh, you know, it was sitting there close. So let's just uh, go to the chart and see what happened. You can see that. No, that's not it. Let me pull it up. There we go. So we were looking at $6.10 as a breakout point. Uh, here the stock opened at a 604, and when it did break above it, went all the way up to 651. Uh, so this was, and then you could say, see it stayed up there for a little bit. Uh, but had you gotten in at 610, which was a breakout point, uh, this it did make a six and a half percent move uh, in this one day. So once again, one of those quick possible gainers where uh, you know six percent in one day isn't too bad considering you can't get that at your local bank uh, for you know getting a CD. So that wraps up the bull charts for this week. As you can see we had uh, four winners, uh, just one loser, and then we had some nice Twitter calls also. Uh, so once again if you wanna get onto this newsletter it's all free. Just sign up at bullmarketnewsletter.net and like I said you'll get a free ebook with your subscription. So if you do have any other questions on these charts or about bull market newsletter just let me know. Uh, but once again congratulations on the good week and uh, there will be some more bull charts out tomorrow. Thanks again, and everybody have a good weekend.